Hi, this is Katie. We are at PyCon 2013 Poster Presentations. I'm here with Alex Zhu, and we're talking about collecting financial data using Python. All right, thank you very much. So my project has been on collecting and analyzing financial information data. And I got interested because I've been into investing for a long time, and it's been frustrating to find information across the web. So as you can see here, you have uh, financial data. People use financial data for multiple reasons out there. And you, online trading has really picked up pace over the last decade. Uh, there, there's studies showing exponential growth in this sector. So most regular users use Google Finance or Yahoo Finance to get most of their information on stock prices and things such as that. And there's also online brokerage for trading. You have E-Trade, e Interactive Brokers. A lot of these brokerage also offer uh, data services out there. So you see, this is all the services that are actually provided as of now. You have Google, Yahoo Finance, all these brokerages out there. And you can see how the user's user base has grown tremendously over the years. Now, you have almost 85% of trading going on just on machines. So th that's, that's what has been happening, and that's the whole thing with the NASDAQ exchange. With Google Finance, they do have an API that, they did have an API that worked, and they discontinued in 2011. So they have real-time pricing, but the problem, as you can see, with this, with, with their basic chart that they have here, is that... Um, they have very basic information available and some of the information is not real time and many users are trying to look for that real time information. Yahoo answers, Yahoo, Yahoo Finance also offers the similar services, however they do offer a bit more information with PE ratios and a bit more details in the, their charting. So with brokerages, there's much more insight on their information. Uh, there's fundamentals and technical charting. But the problem, again, is that it's, it's messy. You don't know what's going on with the data. And here is an example of a company that we have here with different data from multiple sources. And it can really confuse basic investors who's looking for the correct information. And there's millions of investors out there who are confused about that. So, there's a module that was made by Corey Goldberg on why stock quote, which was really, really interesting. Um, and it's an API for Yahoo Finance. And there's a lot of stuff that is contained in the module that you can see here. Uh, you can run your prices and charting on, on just a basic idle page and it works fine. You just need to import why stock quote when you download it. And there's advantages for that as well. Uh, however, I think the disadvantages are charting and graphing aren't exactly 100% there yet. And the analysis is completely historical, so you can't really... If you want to extrapolate data, you're going to have to do that by yourself. The solution to this problem is to make a site that allows cus consumers to allow customization on their on how they're investing depending on how they're what type of trader they are and just allow the most sources available for them uh, and provide the most consistent data for people and thank you guys very much if you this presentation will be posted on my site as well investor.org and you can check out my YouTube channel for more information thank you very much thank you